Alright everyone, Megafil X here once again, and this time we're gonna go after Tankman. Tankman is among the first of my Robot Master ideas. It's not one of it's not the first, but it's one of the first. Um, our first encounter here is the grenade soldier. Basically you just have to shoot its body to reveal it and then shoot its head. You can get close to him to reveal him, but it's a little bit more tricky because you won't have a lot, a lot of room to dodge its grenade, which is actually very fast. The grenade soldier is wearing a tie because it's an idea from one of my friends. <laughs> Tank Mets, you can just follow them as they back up and then jump over them as they pop out to shoot you. The popping mines you can just keep running and then stop below them when they pop out. Spike drop, pretty easy to do. Sniper Joe here, the Sniper Joe E. The, the E stands for energy because he's shooting big, big energy shots that are ironically bigger than the shots he shoots when he's in, he's in his big tank. Shield that hackers. Now here, just wait for the tank to come by and then use the ceiling conveyor belt to rocket past him easily. Here, be careful with the ceiling because it's gonna put you right back and, and it's gonna push you into the tank. Here's one of the first mini bosses we made. Actually, the first one we made. It caused us, it caused us a bit of pro a lot of problems. Because it's the first one. And it creates enemies, so we had a whole bunch of problems with that. It would crash the game because the enemies are not killed properly and all that stuff. Kill the shield attacker before using the ceiling to rocket over the pit. Use the ceiling to access the ladder. Now here be beware of the ceiling conveyor belts that will send you into the spike if you're if you jump too high. In this section, take the high road because the lower path is full of mines and there's also a tank. If 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 you get a sniper drill down there, it's gonna be a mess. Here you just slide down there. Same thing here, but although I didn't take any damage. So. A good mine clearing tool would be the the yo-yo cutter and the tank tank arsenal. Tank arsenal has a projectile that follows the ground a little bit, and the yo-yo cutter just follows all any surface, and it's just gonna take out the mines pretty fast. Nor you can ignore this tank. Oh, sorry, I spoke too soon. Yeah, the up, the jump up there is a little bit tricky. Yeah, sometimes the popping mines will just drop health, which is kind of kind of cool in the end. Shoot him, shoot him in the head, and there you go. We made it to Tankman. Actually, Tankman, I think, is one of the easiest robot masters to perfect run. I'm not saying I'm gonna perfect him, buff, perfect run him now, but... It's because he's very pattern-based. He always does the same thing. And once you've figured out how to dodge his attack, Pretty easy. The first, the first time he's gonna rush towards you is go always gonna be a fake out. 
Like here is gonna fake me out. Right? Goddamn lag. Whoa. I don't know why there's a lot of lag, my computer sucks. And with that we get the tank arsenal. Tank arsenal is a little bit like the triple blade in Mega Man 10. You will benefit greatly if you get close to the enemies when you use it because there, there's no invincibility frame between each of the projectiles hitting the enemy. So it's a good idea to get close and, and just bombard the enemy with that. Alright, only two left. Which one should I pick next? See you later.